Welcome back to Delivering More, folks. Thank you for consuming the content morning, afternoon, or evening. I'm your host, Ben Alkyer. We appreciate you. As always, if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, that's going to help us out more, more than, than you could you ever, ever know. know. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. We have a great meet the team for you folks again today. I have brand manager. Is See. that your title? See. Brand manager Jim Danke in the building. Usually on the ones and twos, he's front facing today, folks. Jim, how we doing? It's good. I'm good, man. It's always uh, fun in my my world to be on this side of the camera rather than behind the camera. So I'm excited to be here. Yeah, we just wrapped up a uh, Condado. Condado lunch. We run down the order real quick. What did we get? Yeah, so my buddy was in from uh, California, so I had to show him the spot. But we got the three buds. The um, we got queso. Yep. Oh, oh, the dips. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we yeah, got yeah. the queso, elote queso. Some with that guac. Corn, yeah, some guac and then the Roja salsa. Oh, yeah. And then I, I got the Lucy's Fire and the Blue Dream, my two staples. Couldn't yeah. go away from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Lucy's Fire, Blue Dream. What is the – there's a steak one. Uh, uh, is it the Bad Habit or the Heater? I think the, the Bad Habit. The bad, the bad Habit is what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Fire. All right, yeah. So we're coming off of lunch. Maybe – feel uh, no yawns. No yawns, though. We're not – we're about to get on the golf course maybe here in a little bit, too. Maybe. So. Get that, get that energy back up. We're going to kick it off here where we always do with everyone. Yeah, I feel like I should know these questions before you're going to ask me them. Yeah, you, you probably should. <laughs> you're usually sitting over here for all of them. But uh, we're just going to kick it off where we always do. I think this one's pretty straightforward for you, but where were you born? Where'd you grow up? I was born right here in Canton, Ohio, right okay. down at Mercy. Okay. Uh, grew up here. Uh, that's where I got involved with all these these guys that these started hoodlums. this company, these hoodlums, these fools, whatever you want to call them. And, uh, yeah, that's, you know, started playing baseball with Aaron, John, and you. And never played baseball with Mitch. But, you know, that was kind of how the foundation of our friendship began. I was So I was going to say, in my mind, for while I was, like, processing what we are going to talk about, I was going to ask you when you first met Aaron and John. But I totally forgot that we had all played baseball mm-hmm. growing up through travel yeah, ball. So travel. you probably already knew them. I think I even played with John – think on like you know the teams before the travel how like the like all-star the teams Blue like jays oh, and, oh like yeah yeah, yeah the yeah, youth yeah. league yeah, yeah yeah i think i think oh really okay he moved here a little late later so i could be wrong but I don't okay know. and then obviously so so you went to st mike's the the private yeah, school yeah and, and then you come to jackson in freshman year mm-hmm. correct and then do we were you immediately when did you so i mean you, you obviously played football so immediately you were introduced to me and darian Kind of reintroduced, I guess. We'll yeah. Say. Maybe first time introduced to Darian. I don't know when I met you and Darian. I know I met you the first time at uh, the umping school at the middle school. Yeah. We were taking those umping mid- classes, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. and I were, were oh, yeah, umps we've for about some that youth league baseball games in the summer. Um, and then Darian. I mean, you can't go around Canton, yeah, Ohio, right, right. without knowing who Darian Terrell is. So I think just you know the lore of Darian and coming over and playing football. Um, you know, he was an offensive lineman at the time. I wasn't really a running back, but I kind of was. So, yeah, that's how I met those two, or you, those two, you and Darian. But yeah. And then what about Aaron and John? Were we were we close in high school? Do well, you played baseball. I played baseball for, for so freshman and sophomore year. So John and Aaron and I, um, like I said, be, even before high school, just knew each other from playing baseball. But yeah, I mean. Ran around with Gindy. John Lind lived right behind uh, Gindy. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was always, you know, close with them. And then obviously throughout college, they John at least roomed with um, with Nick and Rick and and right. Sean. So like that was just like just kept you go going. Visit yeah. them, you see him exactly. Yeah. What uh, circling back a little bit, I actually am very unsure of the answer to this question. Did you have a first job in high school? What yeah. was your first job? Grand Slam. I knew that. Yeah, you did know that. There's that. an infamous video of it. So, <laughs> oh my god, uh, we, we, got, we might have to clip if that. If you guys in. are lucky, there we'll splice a, that in. But I'm a, trying to get that video graveyard. Basically, Ben tried to dunk on a basketball hoop. Let go of the rim, fell straight on his back. Very oh funny video. God. Ben Alkire, with three seconds left in the game, coming down the lane. Oh! <laughs> ben Alkire, with three seconds left in the game. Coming down the lane! Oh! <laughs> but yeah, that was I my hate, first job. I hate when that video gets brought up. Uh, 
Okay, okay. I, f- I totally forgot about that. Grand Slam. So that then, was like batting cages, right. mini golf. It was a great first job. What is uh what was the the bouncy basketball game we tried to space buy? Baseball. Spaceball. Yeah, yeah, spaceball. I said we should buy it when they were selling everything yeah. off. We should have we should have did that. That was yeah, that would have put that's it was so it was a lot bigger than people have realized. So yeah. it's like where do you even put that? Right. But yeah, yeah. just throw it in someone's backyard. What uh Grand Slam then closed while we were in high school, right? No, closed when I was in college because Noah worked there. Okay, Noah okay, took my okay. Noah, my little brother, took my job when I went off to college. So, okay, so, so we, it was. I couldn't even tell you when it closed down, but yeah, it was there after we left for college. I know that. Okay, in college we're going to Wittenberg University. We're playing Correct. football. Playing football. Um, didn't know what I wanted to do when I first went to college. That's, I that's wanted what I was going to gonna be, ask. We're, yeah, I wanted to get into architecture because okay. I love designing stuff. Um, and they didn't have an architecture degree at Wittenberg because it's a little smaller school, D- Division Three Liberal Arts. Um, but they did have graphic design, kind of same type of process. You're still designing stuff on the computer. That's really what I like to do. So kind of, I don't want to say fell into that, but um, found some interest in that and just kept going. It, it was that like a uh, immediate? Like, did you get there and declare that major? Or did you no, like go dude, through I, the I freshman like, courses and yeah. then like you decide late? Yeah, that was that was one of the problems. Was that <laughs> I declared so late. Like I was like the the last semester of like when you were able to do it, and it was it was kind of getting bad because I'm basically just taking classes just to take classes. Like, right. hey, you're still in school, you got to take these classes, but like they weren't actually going towards that degree. So then once I finally did declare, I had to like front load like my my schedule, yeah, with, like, like make take, all that up. Yeah, it's like when I could have been doing that from the jump. So that was kind of had to take a couple summer classes to make sure I got everything done on time, and which was fine because I was down there anyway for right. football, but um. Yeah, that was yeah. Okay, and then what we so we get out of there in four years, um, and then did we move right back home? Yeah, move back home because I tried to I applied for the people li- the listeners here in Canton, Ohio, home uh, as Pro Football Hall of Fame. So I tried to get a, oh. a sun, summer internship job uh, as in the marketing department for the Hall of Fame. This was when they were like doing all like the renovations, like they haven't even broken ground on anything right. that yet. So they're like, yeah, we're kind of tight on funds so we're not just really like handing out jobs or whatever so whatever uh and then i don't even know how oh you know mike byam r.i.p and p um got me a connect with slick woodies yeah so he because they did all the apparel for J- for jackson football okay. so he was like hey i know this guy who does designs yada 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 so that's how i got ho- hooked up with uh then slick woodies so and that's is that danny Yes, that okay. is Danny. Danny at the time, his stepdad Mike was the president who okay. passed away. But that was when I got involved with them doing. Uh, I was the art director over at Slick Woody's Cornhole Company making yeah. cornhole boards. So very cool. Technically, like legitimate first job out of college uh, was designing cornhole boards. So yeah, yeah, and it's just right down the road. Really, so yeah. we still uh, we, store all our bags there and everything mm-hmm. too. So they're they're still kind of involved. Exactly. To deliver that. Yep. So yep. yeah, it's always always good to keep those relationships um, in a good place. What um about then? How do we? So you're so we graduate 2016 from Wittenberg. You move back home. You're at Slick Woody's for we'll call it a year and a half. Then yeah, it was like two, two years. years. Yeah, because um, yeah. then we hit 2018 and everyone starts to come on. Right, Darian comes on. Um, you come on a mm-hmm. couple months later, maybe. Yeah, are, are we May? Well, it was it was weird because I think at the time Darian had technically like came on the deliver that team and John hit me up. So I don't know if this is going to take your question, but how did I got get involved with? Yeah. 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 What was your first like involvement? Yeah, Yeah, exactly. So as the director, art director at slick Woody's doing graphic design, uh, Darren had got involved maybe like two or three months before I did. And John came to me and said, Hey, we want to rebrand. Uh, we have a a logo, but it's kind of like cartoonish. We want to go more of the professional look. Like what can you do? So, did that whole thing with John, took him through a, a logo redesign process, ended up landing on what you guys see here and, and what the deliver that brand is um, that the world knows now. And uh, I sent John my my invoice for, for freelance work. And at the time, you know, deliver that wasn't what it was or what it is now. And he's like, yeah, we actually can't really pay you. And I'm like, oh, OK. He's like, but 
we can't offer you a job. And I was like, okay, well, if you can't pay me for this, how are you going to offer me a job? <laughs> how are you going to pay but me we a, didn't really, a two weeks? Two you know, weeks. I, I believed in the vision. I believed in the, the work ethic that I've known John and Aaron have had over the years and believed in it and um, put in my two weeks at Slick Woody's and started working out of Aaron's dad's basement. Yeah. So and, that was a wild okay. time. Yeah. So we, yeah, we can definitely kind of relive that. So you, you've been through all the offices, right? Aaron's basement, offices. Planet Fitness, yeah. Geese and House. The black mold, the blue room, the mouse. There's, dude. There's so many. Yeah. There's so many funny stories that we could get into. I want to. Uh, I my, I want to ask about what you started out doing though, and then what you do like now. How how much different was what you were doing early on to what you're doing now? Because early on, you weren't only doing the graphic design. You were doing like driver relations and, and, and a ton of other stuff, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. So at the time. It, I, it's very, uh, very funny to see how it all comes full circle. Cause you know what John and Aaron, um, and I'll say Darian hired me to do was basically some marketing and some design work. And, you know, we needed it at the beginning, but at the same time we needed drivers, yeah. delivery, we need actual more. infrastructure. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so, you know, I'm doing that kind of on the side while still also helping launch markets and by launch markets, I mean, recruit drivers to, you know, want to do this gig and then line them up with at the time we had lead drivers and make sure that went on and help grow these markets. So over the years I did, you know, design, marketing, social media. Um, I did recruiting, I did driver relations, meaning like if there's a complaint, helping a driver smooth things over or resolve their issue. Um, I launched markets. I've, set up our e-commerce i everything damn near under the sun other than accounting i'm not good with numbers so uh, i i want to i, I want to so interject here quickly because i i have to get this story on camera okay go ahead what is what was happening when we we're out there launching markets well, which market do you want to know about? Well, I, I know we got one story in, in detroit i think is the main story i'm interested in and then were, were you also in baltimore yeah, I was in. You know what's funny? Looking back at it, I, 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 nothing against these cities, but I launched um some of the, I'll just say more more gritty cities. Yeah, in, yeah, in yeah. Northeast, right? We got some grit. But what you're looking for the the story that you're looking for is about launching Detroit, and um for the people back then, I drove a 2012 Ford Escape. So I'm up near the Ford. Ford industry or whatever. And I'm going up there to launch. So basically what was launching was back then was stay for anywhere from 10 to 12 days, establish the market, take a couple deliveries, take some deliveries, meet some drivers, get the, get the market up off its feet where it can kind of be self-sufficient so that the fleet that you onboarded can, can take the deliveries. And, um, you know, at that time, you know, we're staying in Airbnbs. We're not renting vehicles. It's all, this is all very early delivery. Yeah. So it's kind of like, flying by the seat of our yeah pants. you didn't rent an enterprise car and take it up there yeah you just drove your own i'm vehicle. driving my right. own ford escape yeah and um i stay at this airbnb well let me let me back up so i'm i meet with a couple restaurants day one one of them being qdoba still on board so yes. I, you know i got that in my back pocket but um you know i'm talking to the catering manager and she's like hey where are you staying and i, I sh i'm like i don't really know i show her it on a map and she just makes this face if you want to zoom in on me she goes oh and i'm like what do you mean oh and she's like it's not the best area. And I'm like, okay, well, we're here. No turning back now. So whatever. I can't do anything about yeah. It. So I get to, uh, get to the Airbnb. I kid you not. I, I go in there, I put my bags down. I'm walking around and within me being in there for 30 minutes, 30 minutes, I get a knock on the door. I don't, I'm like, I'm, I'm in a neighborhood. Uh, do that, I want to yeah, answer that door. Do I want to yeah, answer yeah, this yeah, door. Yeah. Again, I'm like, okay, let me look. And there's a police officer outside on the door. I'm like, what in the world is going on? She opened, I opened the door and she's like, hey, uh, are you from here? And I'm like, no. And I'm like, she's like, yeah, I kind of figured that with your Ohio license plate. I'm like, okay, okay. what? Yeah, okay, <laughs> what's going on? Why'd you ask the question? Now, whatever. And she's like, yeah, well, the neighbor uh, said someone was underneath your car cutting off your catalytic converter. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, well, there's a problem around here. I mean, you drive a Ford. Ford catalytic converters are kind of like worth a decent penny around here. So someone was literally within 30 minutes of me getting there up underneath my car with the saws off, sawing off my catalytic converter. And the best part about this is 
I got another meeting with a restaurant in like 30 minutes on like the other side of Detroit. So if you get your catalytic converter cut off, you know what the catalytic converter does for your car? I I don't, but I imagine it has something to do with how loud the car is too at some loud point. Loud in emissions. Yeah. So you're basically just running straight exhaust when okay. they cut off your catalytic converter. Basically straight piping your car. I don't know if you know what that is, but it makes your car a lot louder. Anyway, so I am driving through – downtown detroit I, you know i asked the cop like what do you suggest i do what do you yada yada he's like well you know i can give you this this auto shop they might be able to help you out and uh i'm like okay well i got no other options right now so you know take the address i drive over to this auto shop in the in downtown detroit loud ass or ford escape and i pop in there and you know i, I tell the guy hey i'm not from here i just got my catalytic catalytic converter cut off and i just hear some guy pop pop his head around the corner in the back and say, welcome to Detroit. And I just couldn't help but laugh at that point. So drove around the rest time, the rest of the time with no catalytic converter, loud ass car. So yeah, that was good times launching Detroit. Yeah. Good times. Yep. Those, those, are, those are the good old days. Someone yeah, said good stuff. Good stuff. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, I appreciate you sharing that story with us. And so th that's all probably happening throughout 2019 2018 maybe? 2019, 2019 yeah um probably so then yeah. yeah so i mean what so then we hit covid um we come out of covid uh maybe even a little better off than we were before um do the delivery demand yeah and, and now we're in we can just skip right ahead to kind of 2023 where we are now um and i i think n nowadays for you i think th there's been a lot more focus on e-commerce kind of the shop um, the website. Mm -hmm. um, so what you actually started out doing originally maybe is kind of now you're actually doing that like yeah. full time. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying, how it kind of came full circle because, you know, when I first came on, we had no marketing material, no sales yeah. material, no nothing as, as, a, as a deliver that as a company. So I was creating that all behind the scenes. And now uh, it's coming kind of coming full circle that we have to update all of that redesign it like all this stuff that goes into it is kind of what i was started out originally doing with deliver that so it's kind of funny to see how it, like i said comes full circle yeah it, i mean it was that were you happy to finally like get to that point though to like now like you're, you're using the degree that you got mm -hmm. i mean i know you're a very artistic person in general so like that's what you enjoy doing anyway so do you enjoy a lot more of what's happening nowadays than what was happening 2018 2019 not not like enjoy but just like the work what yeah, you're doing for is work is it more actually. enjoyable yeah. i think i i have to say yes because that that is truly what i enjoy doing but at the same time you know as this company has evolved you never knew what that next day was going to bring <laughs> yeah. you know like we you've we've talked about it before like there'd be a day where all right, guys, we got to pack up. We got to drive to Pittsburgh to take some yeah. deliveries. Got all right, three Boston yeah, markets. Exactly. So, like, oh, you know, prior to what the e-commerce and the store is now, you know, I was running over to GFS. Damn near every and other mailing day. Mailing out the bags. bags. I forgot that. about that. So, it was like, like I said, you never knew what the day was going to hold. Dang. Whereas, like, now it's so much more structured, a legitimate company where, okay, I'm, I got to accomplish this, this, and this today. By the end of the week, this, this, and this needs to happen. So, it's like. It's a lot more structured, but at the same time, I, I like I, that's why I said I, I enjoy it. But at the end of the day, back then it was like you yeah, you're just flying was, by to see your pants. You exactly, don't know what's you never knew what was gonna happen, which, yeah. which I think was, you know, what made me fall in love with this. Yeah, I was just like, truly is building this company from the ground up, and yeah, it was it was wild times. Wild I West. I, uh, I completely forgot about that we even yeah. used GFS bags. That was like. What we just shipped, we shipped boxes, boxes like of GFS yeah. to our drivers. And yeah. then the evolution of that was we ended up finding out the company that made the GFS bags. Those were the first to deliver that bag. Okay. I don't know if you remember those. I found one when I was moving last time. Like it's an artifact. I, I still have it. So it was like, yeah, that was, that's a whole other thing. So we've gone a cut through a couple different bag evolutions yeah. too. And, yeah. Brand uh, new ones. Brand new ones. We can plug that now because they are live on the store. Yeah. Brand new, high quality Velcro bags. Yeah. Changes the game. They don't exist out in the market yeah. right I now. I deliver that.com backslash shop. Yeah, folks. Check them uh, out. Jim, that's really all I got as far as your background. Yeah, it's a lot. A lot to unpack. Anything else anything else you feel like we didn't touch on? Anything else we could cover a little better? I don't know, man. There's so many I know just from hearing you and Aaron talk about it, just doing your your fiftieth episode yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of talking about a little bit the uh the uh 
the ideas that we had that seemed so cool and so important to do back in the day, which just made no sense looking back at, I think was hilarious. Like talking about painting that office. <sighs> that was horrible and a horrible it idea so long, so long. And, and then the best part was we didn't even ask the building if we could do it oh, I forgot so then they that. came in they're like yeah you guys didn't get permission to do this and just painted over all of our hard work so that was like there's this little things that we thought like hey this is gonna make us look like a legitimate company and like it had no yes. effect on has zero involvement later was. on yeah so that's that's always funny to like kind of reflect on but but yeah yeah, a lot of years behind us now. I uh, we can uh, we'll move right along here to our final segment. Uh, close it out with a presented little presented by Mamitas. Mamitas. <laughs> what if we do a new segment presented by Mamitas? Um, we're gonna call this one this or that. You got new questions for me? I don't. I'm gonna run you through the same ones. That's cool. And we'll, we'll we'll get some new ones here soon though. Once once we've maybe made one round with everyone, we can make. All right. How about this? After. What if we what if we do this just to switch it up? And you can say yes or no. You ask me a this or that, and then I ask you a completely random this or that. But how much time do we have? We got eight minutes. We can motor through. We can try. Actually, okay. Let's let's. Start. All right, all right, all right. This or that. Starting out. <laughs> yeah, we'll squeeze it. We'll get through them. We'll get through them. This or that. Starting out. Early mornings or late nights. I think my answer would have changed if you would have asked me about a month ago. But as of recently, I've been working or I've been waking up way earlier, working out in the morning. Um, so I got to go early mornings. Are the, Have they been paying off? You feeling better? Feeling better. Yeah. Yes. Feeling better. And I think like the main reason why I wanted to do it was because I hated leaving the office and then going working out for an hour and a half. And then like, okay, then you make dinner. Then it's like the end of the night well, right now i'm getting that workout done in the morning so we can go golfing we can go fishing we can do whatever whatever in the afternoon so it kind of opens up my afternoon where that's kind of like the prime time i guess so yeah. as of right now i'm gonna say early mornings yeah putting in the work while everyone else is asleep keeping it moving would you rather be hot or cold would i rather be hot or cold man I think deep down in my soul, I would rather be hot. I think the con the question ah. kind of, I think the question kind of gets construed a little bit because if you're telling me, would you rather be in hot or cold weather? I'd have to say cold weather because then you can layer up and be all right. But like, okay. if I'm going to be hot or cold, I like think just I'm, your body temperature. Yeah. I think I'd rather be hot. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, I'll, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, I mean, well, I think if you, if you put it in that context, I think that's a no-brainer. Yeah, no hot or wants cold, to be cold, I gotta go with hot. Okay, and, and if you think about it, in like th think about it a different way, like the food aspect. I'm eating hot food over cold food all day. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I'd be the same way for sure, for sure. Um, <laughs> this, I just already know the answer to these questions. So I fucking hate you asking ask books or movies. No, nah, yeah. that's the next one. <laughs> Keeping it moving, dogs or cats? Dogs keeping it moving love my girl shout out reese she just got a bath yesterday groomed yesterday yeah, she we'll looks really those, pretty. those fresh I, groom I, yeah, pictures up yeah but yeah I, lex and i were just talking last night shout out lex my fiance we spoil her so much it's so bad it's so bad and you think she's gonna get a brother or sister i don't think so just because of like how much she's spoiled where like if she would have to compete with another dog I don't know what she'd do. She's so spoiled, dude. Like, we made steak last night, and she knows that she's going to get a piece of steak. It's just, dude. like, so bad. So bad. And, like, she knows where – if I look at her, she'll lay down because, like, she just knows how to play the system. But, anyway, back to your answer, dogs. I, I made a, I made four chicken breasts yesterday get right before the, the live newsletter. She probably ate two of them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She probably ate two of them. It's <laughs> un unbelievable. Yeah, I take even the fact that she went and got groomed. Like it's not all dogs go and get groomed, but it's like it's so bad. Unbelievable. Anyway, dogs. Dogs, 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 dogs. I like this one for you because I'm uh, I'm not too sure about this one. This would be an interesting one. How do you feel about books or movies? Books or movies. I'm I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a big movie guy. But I'm also not a big reader. But if you give me an audiobook, 
if the, I don't if you're saying in that context, I'd say books. But uh, I love to listen to things like always have a podcast on in the background, put a book on in the background, whatever. But I'm just not a big movie guy. So if in, in that context, if I'm allowed to listen to audio books, go on books. What's the what's the last audio book we listened to? The last audio book that I listened to was. Um, oh, this is going to be so bad. I can't even think of what the name was, uh, but how to. uh I just finished it. it. Was how to win friends, or man, why can't I think of the title? And influence people yes, or something yes, like that. To, yes, how to make friends and influence people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've like, heard of it. I started it and then never finished it, and then just recently, maybe like two weeks ago, finally finished listening to it. Okay, so I, audio I, books, that's pretty, not yeah, books, but pretty well known. Okay. All right, we will. Uh, this will last final one I got for you. Um. I'm interested to see what kind of long-winded answer I get for this. Okay. Staying in or going out to eat? Staying in. I can make damn near damn near whatever meal I I would ever have going out unless it's like I'm not good with like crustaceans. So like crabs, lobster, all that. I just never cook it and that's what I love to eat, but like man, I made a a filet mignon last night. Oh, so good. And like I said, Reese got some. So she would you, you have asparagus with it? Uh, no, um, sauteed spinach and some diced up uh, red skin potatoes. Potatoes. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, stay in to cook. I'm a big cook guy. If you guys want to follow my Instagram page, Dank Cooks, post a lot of meals I make on there, but love to cook. So that that easy and or that answer is easy for me. I also love going out to eat. You know, I cook. I cook every meal for us. So when I don't have to cook, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. So. Stayed in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. That's all I got. We're about to go play some golf. Yeah. Let's keep it low. Keep it low. Keep it straight. <laughs> I've been playing. I've been improved. I've been playing better. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah. I felt. Uh, I felt pretty good. Yeah. Coming off your bachelor party last weekend with that scramble. Obviously, the scramble helps out a little bit because you're not swinging as mm-hmm. much. But still, um, like, what, but I felt like I played pretty good. Well, that's what I was telling Noah. Like, we're going out to to bend. And like we're playing that course out there that's got like two hundred dollar greens fees, but the way that both of us played, I'm like, okay, it's worth it. It's worth it. it it's it's it's, a, it's a, it is exciting for us to go out and play there when we're playing as well as we are. So, but man, I've had some bad rounds this year. Bad. <laughs> All rounds. right, we'll end it with that. All right, folks, thank you so much for tuning in, Jim. Thank you so much. Until next time, we'll see everyone. Give me soon. in front of the camera.